Okay, I'm very honored to be here, Hoshana Rabbanai, in Jerry's place. Thank you, Jerry. We've been friends online at least and now in person. Actually, we've met a few times. I want to give a big thanks to Elio for just giving me these five minutes. It's a gift of time. This is the most precious thing we have. And obviously, Erez, my good friend Erez Safar. We already gave a nice uh, hesped, God forbid, uh, um, the Moshav. So you can check out all the nice words I said about Erez. So we won't repeat that. But uh, we only have a few minutes, and it's very important that we tune in to the moment that we're in. We're in a sukkah in Yushalayim, Hashanah Rabbah, Shpizim to David and Melech. We just had an amazing speaker that I was, uh, was merited this time to hear. I heard a little bit in the Moshe, but even more here. And the idea is to let these words in. The Tachlis. Thank you. I appreciate that. The real, the real purpose of this whole month of Tishrei, according to Rav Sodek Cohen. The real purpose is to get the Torah inside our hearts, is to get the light of Sukkot, the light of our Neshama to light up and to enter into that inner realm of soul, of Neshama, Bekirbi, Taharahi. We're going to say, please God, in not so long, before we do all the beautiful things that we just heard from the previous speaker, the idea of the, the voter of Hashanah Rabbah and Simchas Torah the more we're going, making these hakafas, as, we, as she was so wisely saying, the or makif, we're bringing it into or panim, we're bringing it into the inner aspects of our soul, into our heart. And the point is to bring a change. It's that, so when we're together with so many special souls, the power is, is, an, is 10x, 100x, it's, it just keeps growing. You know, everyone nowadays talks about the idea of investments and the concepts of growing your equity and... It's a very, very powerful way of being successful in business. But when we're spiritually connected on the soul level, this is the ultimate investment. This is the understanding that we're united souls. And that's something which Erez is doing this whole, this whole month, being in the Holy Land. He's bringing together the concept of united souls, which I totally believe in. I want to I wanna bring to the world that an, an awakening again that they're a soul. People talk about religion, people talk about politics, people talk about all kinds of things. But how much do you hear out there in the podcast space nowadays, which is probably the most important space in terms of human interaction online, how much do you hear about the soul level? How much, who, who's talking about the soul in the mainstream world and in a way to clarify what humanity is struggling with? Who's discussing that? The fact that the values and the love and the dreams and the goals of humanity come from the soul level. Who's, who's giving it the true credit that each human being is connected in an intrinsic way that's so deep? And comes this special time of year and we're bringing it in deeper and deeper the soul level. And thank, thankfully, you know, I didn't grow up this way. I grew up in the music world and entertainment world and I saw the power of music bringing people together. But I didn't know about the soul. I didn't know the language of the soul. So it was, it was all about the music. The next level was really getting to that soul level, that clarity of understanding. And that, that made the music and everything on a whole nother level. Because then we start to know who we are, what we're here for, what our purpose is, and then we get to real fulfillment. And that's the Simcha, that's the Zman Simcha Seinu that we're all experiencing, hopefully all of us, in our own way, with our struggle, with our pain, and remember, the pain is, is the biggest gift. I've been learning a lot with different people in Efrat. That's where I'm, I'm living right now. Many, many years in Yushalayim by many Siddiquim and many holy people. And, and, and you know, some of, some of my old friends from Yeshiva days or even people that, you know, I had the merit to teach are here. I don't know if they're still here. Any Netzach guys here? Avi Cohen is still here? No, he went. But the idea, there was guys, I just was by Moti Cohen just up the road. These are people that, I was here 20 years ago with them in yeshiva and they've come so far and they've grown, they're living in Yushalayim or they're living in Beit Shemesh and this is what's happening to our people. We're slowly coming home. There's a kibbutz of neshamas, of souls. And this is something which Erez, thank God, has made the effort to come from Los Angeles, the furthest place other than maybe Australia and bringing that ability to unite us all here tonight on the holiest of nights so just to end off, because I know I have a holy brother here who's going to do a much better job than me. 
but I want to just say that everyone here should be blessed to really appreciate that you have a neshama and you're surrounded by neshamas and it's the biggest eitzah, the biggest advice I ever got, eitzah, the eitzim, the eitzim of the skach, the big advice you get from Sukkot, the Shana Rabba, this big eitzah, this big advice I can give you is, with Hashem's help, is that you will be more neshamadik, more soulful and you'll be able to see that around you in your family, in your friends, in your children, in your soulmate. I also, I heard Jerry mention a relationship class. I also do relationship flow. It's about connection of the soul. It's all about the soul connection, the soulmate connection. And that's the same with everything we're trying to do when we're learning and we're davening and we're praying and we're connecting more and more to Hashem. It's to remind us the most important thing Hashem wants us to know is that we have a chelik el and mal mamish within us so that we can be mamin in ourselves. My son's in the army. I'll end off at this point and a blessing to you. And he says to me the most important thing to him is not just believing in Hashem. He has a moon in Hashem. He's in a unit of, of mostly what they call, I hate all these terminologies, but they call them left-wing families. You know, he's one of the only ones of Peor and a big white couple and sits this and he took all his boys just this week to the mikveh and they all came with him. He's in the army and he says, but the most important thing is believing in himself. So all of us should be blessed. And Rav Sodik says that's the key to real Muna and Hashem is a Muna and Atzmi. So everyone should be blessed to know themselves, to know their soul, and bring that clarity of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, and Rosh Hashanah Rabbah, and Simchas Torah with joy, with Simcha, and Islavus, and bring that into the new year. Amen. 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 Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great job. Appreciate it. Say hello. <laughs> Thank you, Aris. Uh, thanks so much. Thanks for always coming out.